All right, everyone, welcome back to my channel, Baseball Talk with Nick Morgan. So as of today, we have a more definitive overview of what this 2020 Major League Baseball postseason is going to look like. There is a confirmed player bubble as well as neutral sites being implemented to accommodate said bubble. And this is all a result of the COVID-19 virus that has brought us a 60-game season and a bunch of shakeups to Major League Baseball, the seven inning double headers, uh, among other new rules and laws that were implemented for this season. So a lot to go over, a lot to cover, but we're gonna dive into it here in this video. If you guys are ready, don't forget to drop a like down below, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. We are making the push for 1,000 subscribers, which is insane. Thank you all for your continued support, but let's get into it, starting off with the player bubble. So the player bubble is new to Major League Baseball. Of course, this is all as a result of COVID-19, but it is put into place and hopefully utilized so that players can stay healthy as well as their family members. Now, Major League Baseball and the Players Association agreed to quarantining players and family members on contending teams for seven days prior to the start of this postseason, the kickoff to the wild card series. Now, this is big because family members are included, so wives, kids, whoever they might be living with at the time or they see frequently, players and their families are all involved in this. There will be daily tests to make sure there are no COVID outbreaks because that would really delay the postseason and we're not used to seeing baseball in like November, so that necessarily would not be an option. If there was an outbreak, who knows what would happen? Uh, so the bubble is implemented strictly to keep everyone safe and for the well-being of players and their family members at all times. Now, uh, interesting note here, actually, coaches' families are not included in this. So, like, Aaron Boone's not going to have his family in a hotel room and quarantine for the first seven days. But this could be uh, lifted a little bit, and players and coaches' families could all be accommodated once teams get to narrow down. So, maybe the division series, the championship series, where there's not eight teams per league, that's when family members of players... Uh, or of coaches, rather, and personnel can actually start potentially joining this bubble. But again, they'd have to quarantine, get tested every day. So for the first seven days before the postseason, players and their families and the coaches, and then as we narrow it down to only a few teams per league, the potential for coaches' families can join the bubble as well. I don't know really if that's going to be used much. I don't really see that necessary per se, but we'll see. Maybe it does happen. Um, but again, you know, families and players will all get daily COVID tests and now their families cannot exit the bubble and rejoin the bubble. They're going to have to stay in the hotel. They're going to have to stay, you know, in this location so that they don't get anyone at risk. Cause again, a COVID outbreak in the postseason really is not something that major league baseball can accommodate easily just because of the schedule, the weather and how baseball is going to be playing out. So now we're going to go ahead and break apart the bracket here because, of course, with this postseason bubble, not every team will have home field advantage for every series. Kind of retro to that and moving forward, touching on that again, the wild card series is the only time a franchise will have home field advantage. Remember, there is an expanded playoff bracket this year, so eight teams from the American League and the National League. All eight teams from either league and from both leagues have to participate in this wild card series, it's not just two teams going head to head. It is eight teams, so four matchups in the AL, four in the NL, and it's all a best of three series. And in this case, the higher seed will get home field advantage. So say you have the best team in the American League and the worst team in the National League, that best team will get home field advantage for this three game set. That's important. That's the only time this is going to happen. Now, if we move to the ALDS here, you are going to have the winners between the number one seed and the number eight seed in the wild card series and the winners of the fourth and fifth seed games. Uh, so again, the one and eight seed winner and the four and five seed winner will move forward to the division series in the American League. Now, this will take place in San Diego at Petco Park for a five game set. So the one and eight winners and the four and five winners will go to San Diego, play where the Padres play at home typically for five games. Now, all American League teams are going to be playing in National League stadiums just so that there is no like comfort comfort level uh between you know maybe one team plays out in san diego more than another there is no comfort level here it's all al playing in nl stadiums and same thing nl playing in al stadiums so the other set of american league division series games of course it's the winners of the uh following seeds that is going to be uh seeds three and six and then seeds two and seven. So those two winners 
will play a five game set in Los Angeles uh, at Dodger Stadium. So again, three and six versus two and seven, they will go ahead and play each other at Dodger Stadium uh, for five games and we'll move forward from there to the ALCS. Before we shift our attention to the American League Championship Series, let's first touch on the NLDS. Now, it's the same seeds competing against each other in the American League and the National League. So again, in this case, the winner of the series between the number one seed and number eight seed will play the winner of the series between the number four seed and the number five seed. Now, this neutral site will be Globe Life Field in Arlington, Texas. So the one and eight team winner I uh, will play against the four and five seed winner again out in Arlington, Texas, the new Rangers uh, ballpark. So that'll take place uh, for the first set of the NLDS matchups. And then the champions of the three and six seed and the two and seven seed will play in Houston, Texas at Minute Maid Park where the Astros typically play at home. So the one and eight seed winner plays against the four and five seed winner in Arlington. The three and six seed winner, and then the two and seven seed winner will play off against each other in Houston, Texas, for where the Astros usually play at Minute Maid. So moving forward here, the American League Championship Series. Of course, there's two sets of the Division Series. So four teams make it to the ALDS, two teams will come out of it, and those two teams face off in the American League Championship Series. Now, this is a best of seven set, so the first team to four wins moves on. And this series will take place in San Diego, back out at Petco Park, home of the San Diego Padres. And best of seven series, the winner advances to the World Series, and they are the American League representatives for the 2020 season. It's a fun series. It always is. Some of the best teams face off here, and it's going to be fun. Not much going on. Again, in the ALCS, the two teams that move on from the DS will go ahead, play a best of seven, first of four wins moves on, and that is hosted at San Diego. Now, exactly like the American League Championship Series, the NLCS is comprised of two teams, and those two teams are the ones who won their respective National League Division Series. They will advance. The NLCS is a seven-game or best-of-seven matchup, like we see in the ALCS, like we see in the World Series. So the first of four teams wins, and in this case, moves on. And this series will take place at Globe Life Field in Arlington, Texas. So the NLCS is hosted in Arlington, and then the winners, uh, or the winner of that series will be the National League representative for the World Series. The World Series, this is the biggest stage, the most crucial series in any given Major League Baseball season, and it's still going to be a best of seven set. You have the winner of the American League Championship Series taking on the winner of the National League Championship Series. Now, because of the postseason bubble, there's not going to be any home field advantage, and we're going to stay at one ballpark the entire time. And that is going to be Arlington. So Texas Rangers, their brand new stadium that was implemented, used for the first time in 2020, is going to have a lot of spotlight on it this year. The 116th Major League Baseball World Series takes place in Arlington, Texas, again, between the American League representatives and the National League representatives. And that's pretty much it when it comes to the change of the bracket and how the postseason bubble will work. Before I go ahead and end this video, there's one more topic I want to touch on, and that is the fact that there are no off days in between the wild card series, the division series, or the championship series. So in the middle of any of those three given sets, there is not a single off day. Now the wild card series is a best of three, so you need two wins, and then you move on. So that really is going to be a big difference there. The Division Series and the Championship Series are both best of five matchups. There will be no off days in between any of those five games. So roster depth and how you play your pitchers and your bullpen guys is going to be huge because if you can't manage that, chances are you're not going to do well in this year's postseason. That is insane, crazy. Uh, of course, that is kind of benefit the schedule, move the year around a little bit, uh, kind of get us closer to the World Series but ridiculous right there, no off days in the middle of any given series, whether it's the wild card division or championship series. Now, for the World Series, that is different. And also, in between two completely different sets, there will, of course, be at least one scheduled off day. So, going from the wild card to the division series, there's going to be at least one day off. And same thing with the division series and the championship series and the championship series and the world series. But in the middle of the championship series, 
in the middle of this seven game set, there are going to be no off days. Guys are going to have to play on short rest. Uh, especially pitchers, we might see, you know, say the Yankees get that far, Garrett Cole might have to work on three or four days rest, or sorry, three days rest, you know, that that's something that not all guys are accustomed to and ready for, so it's going to be fun, the postseason this year and any year is always exciting to watch, but this year, nonetheless, with all these changes, it, it's going to be a sight to see. So guys, that's going to end it for this video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like down below, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Again, we are working on the grind, pushing towards 1,000 subscribers. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Peace.